<laughs> no. have the lead of one up I hate to say it again okay so now you've got a one up lead with about four holes left to play yeah you've gone all conservative well, I wouldn't say that great strike though that is awesome just right hand side of the fairway perfect one could call that a good decision then Right, driver for Danielle. Yep. No shot, bit of a shorter par four, which is why I went for the old two iron. Um, this is about 350 just straight down. Looking like some bunkers in the middle of the fairway? I think so, yeah. yeah. Which in hindsight is another decent reason not to hit driver, but it definitely wasn't in my thinking. <laughs> Yeah, it's good, up the left side. Yeah, good shot. Thank you. Right, 130, got a wedge. Not a massive one, I don't think. Ball below feet? Yeah. Quite a lot, actually. Kempinski Hotel, looming large in the background. Great strike from that lie. Yeah. Just done? Yeah, just front edge. Perfect. Cleaning club skills. <laughs> right, same yardage. Other side of the fairway. No shot, don't worry. <laughs> Makes a change. Um, eight iron? Eight iron, yep. I can see you actually pin high now. Yeah, yeah. putting up the hill. Like a true tour pro. <laughs> Technically, I get paid to play golf, and technically, I go on tour, so... Yeah, <laughs> dream. Bit, bit heavy, or is that good? No, that's a good strike. Cool, straight at it then. Yeah, oh, it's just run on a bit. Yeah. That's a shame, because that was on it. Came out a little lower off that line, I think. Mm. Well played, though. Thank you. Right, Danielle hasn't run quite as far back as we thought, but it's still a bit of a shame because she must have literally just run she like two feet right at the pin at one point. Putting down the hill for birdie. Not much going on in this, just, just the slope basically down the hill. Yeah, I can see him going that way a little bit, but yeah. marginally, yeah. It's going to be fairly quick. The greens aren't running massively fast, but... It did move that way a tiny bit, you're right, but pick it up, good par. So this for the win? It's to go to two. It's not what I want to hear. It's looking good. Close, great pup. Thank you, good Still on. one. Still one. Check the shots. So you've got quite a long par three here. Yeah, you were saying it looks like it used to be a four, and I kind of agree. 200 yards. Bit of room for error. Yeah. I've uh, got four iron. Great strike. Overdrawn. Little left slightly. Bunker left. Yeah. Maybe just short of it. Yeah, if not just maybe in happy with the shot in general look. It's a sign of how bad my irons have been for such a long time. So I'm happy with that just because it came off the club base. <laughs> club base, yeah. 
We've all been there. Despite it being 30 yards left to target. Five wood? Yeah, I'm going five wood. I'm going to aim at pin. Draw it back into the middle kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it started right and drawing straight onto the pin and it's going to go in. No, <laughs> not quite. What a shot though. About 10 feet, 12 feet? Yeah, I'd say so. Very good. Thank you. That's probably all square. <laughs> Damn it. Right, Danielle's pitched it about here, about two feet from the pin. Run out to about 20 feet in the end, maybe a little less. I've come up shy of the bunker, so I'm chipping. Oh, don't duff another one. Just outside the bunker then? Yep. Trying to not do one of your famous duff and runs. Strike, it's releasing. Yes, good, very good. Not a million miles off a slam dunk with a five wood there. <laughs> um, got about 18 feet, slippery downhiller. Bit left to right in it. I... Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, a couple of balls outside the left. Maybe. Well, are we on six? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it looks more than like yeah, we're going back to all square. Unless I hold, because this isn't being three parted, I don't think. Could be in. Oi! Good effort, pick it up. Thank you. Right. Hole putt required. There you go. This could be crucial. Mm, no. Could be massive. I've got a shot hole on the next as well, so. Can you pull it off? That is the question. Great line. Yeah, there was never any doubt. <laughs> what a part. That could be a crucial point in the match. Oh. Still no crowds. <laughs> right, shot hole. Par five. Sun's out. Yeah, it's definitely getting warmer. So I'm starting to melt a little bit. Um, I can't really remember, but I think the hole goes around to the right a bit when we get up there. Great strike, right hand side trees. But safe on the mound on the right. Yeah. Still in play. All right, let's get this formality over and done with. That bunker on the left must be staring you down. <laughs> what bunkers? <laughs> That, that one. bunker. <laughs> no, you're going left of it. That's fine. Yeah, I've just opened up. <laughs> opened up the green. This is the bunker we were talking about off the tee. We didn't know this one was here. Not happy. No. So Danielle's been doing some maths and basically trying to work out what's the longest possible club she can get over this lip. What have we gone for? I've gone for a nine. Okay. And I'm probably going to catch it. The plan is quite clean. Yep. So in your turn, probably maybe a little thin. <laughs> All right. Um, just to try and get as much distance down there because you've got a shot and you're kind of in play still. Yeah, not a good drive, but got away with it. Yep, well out. Should be able to get the green from there. Should be able to. What club you gone for? What's your decision here with the shot? Being ultra boring. <laughs> I'm hitting an 8 iron just out into the fairway hopefully I couldn't really get yardage but I do think I've got to hit it like 235 over those massive trees to hit the green yeah Off a pretty funky lie so and with a shot I just don't think it's, it's the play it's I mean I'd love you to take it on and use all your shots but yeah I am still tempted while I stand here good off that lie Using the mound to get it back in the fairway. Opened up the green. Perfect. Yes. There for net one. Right, I found fairway. Opened up the green nicely. 
Um, I've got about 120-ish in. Danielle, I think she's still got a long way in because she was forced to hit a lot of loft out of that bunker. Um, I can't really see from here, but it's either a hybrid or a five wood. I think it's the hybrid. So she's kind of got to skirt this tree line, not drastically, but it's not the easiest of shot, let's put it that way. Um, she, I could be going dormy here. Um, she's being very generous though, coming back to play with me with the yellows. But, as you can tell from yesterday's match and today's match, with the shot situation and that, it's actually turning into quite a fair game and she's blasted that one miles right. Oh, path ball, path ball, path ball. Still on the path. Just kind of scooting down the path backwards. That was not her best. So, um, pressure's off you maybe a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sure how much of a shot you're gonna have from there. Yeah, I'm over there somewhere. I've got about 1.15. I got 52. Just on the green gets this done, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm hoping for some twitchy knees maybe again. <laughs> he strikes it. It's all over it. A bit duffy, I think. Yeah, just it's a little bit heavy. A little bit heavy, it's out of the flag. Pretty Still much. Still good enough, I reckon. Welcome to my world, Danielle. Yeah. So, um, this has got to go in. <laughs> yeah, this has got to go in. I can um, see a route, but not really a shot. The club I want to hit from that lie will um, try and make me find a 10% air. Yeah. So, um, so presumably you're just chipping it through and hoping something magical happens. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. I'm gonna just find my gap and... Let's see it. What, you got like a seven iron or something? Yeah, seven yeah. iron. Slightly off the back foot. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not the best moment for Danielle to hit one of her worst shots there. But two with two. Let's see if I can close this out. Come on. Really don't want to stop playing actually because ah, just remembering how damn good this golf course is. But we've got seven hotels to go and look at this afternoon before we get to play later on again. So it's a tough gig. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Still in the heat? Yeah, a little bit. Another absolute belter of a par three. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, 187 you said to the pin, right? Yep. You've got five, which I think is about my 190 club, so. Well, you've got the second tier of that green to yeah. help it stay there as well. Yeah, I think even if I rip this, I won't be, I'll be pitching on that slope rather than over it, you know what I mean? Yep. If I rip it, that's a big move. <laughs> if the strike slightly right of the green yeah just on those mounds oh. hit well, something hazard. yeah, yeah. we think that may have hit something uh, you just hit your shot and we'll see what happens <laughs> <laughs> right it feels like it hit a you know kind of seven out of ten decent shot there and it's a lost ball yeah, I've just noticed that the hazard carries pretty much up to the green. In hindsight, up the left is good. Not 10 yards right of the pin. <laughs> oh dear. Great strike. Yeah, up the left. Very safe. Front left of the green. Back to one, I reckon. Fingers crossed. On this line, I reckon, and it's just rocks by the sounds of things yep so that's gone and I would have had to have dropped back basically back on the tee so I'm gonna have faith in you I'm gonna give you the hole <laughs> okay but let's have a birdie putt anyway yeah let's give it a go just an absolute stunner of a hole it's a shame if they cut some of this some of these reeds down a little bit and you could see the rock edge from the tee it would be just 
gorgeous but as you make your way up the hole it's becomes evident how spectacular it is. It does look great from the tee, but it does just get better and better as you get towards the green. Dan putting for birdie from range, but she's not gonna three like this. And I'd have had to get up and down anyway, so. Pretty decent from that range. I'll give you your three. Back to one, with one to go. Um, yeah, you can have it, but you may as well hit it. Get that par. Yep, went in. It went in regardless. It was given. <laughs> Definitely went in. Another just stunning hole. It's a real shame we have to go in after nine because this course is redonkulous. Agreed. The ones we played yesterday were very nice, but this is kind of 10 out of 10 stuff, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Right, Every driver taking it up the right and drawing it back? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, perfect if it stays out of that bunker. Good shot. Lost sight of it a little bit. Yep, playing into the sun, couldn't see that down either. Got that trusty two iron? Yeah, it's only 330, 340-ish, so I hit this okay and I won't have much in. Um, and as I said, the driver's been a bit on the naughty step last couple of matches, so. It's a strike. Uh, it's not a strike, but I think I've got away with it. Yeah, it's fine. Can't see a thing That's in this so one, sorry. Close, so close to a shank, I can't tell you. <laughs> Jeez. Bunker found as we thought. Um, not the only person in that bunker today, but looks at the rake marks. Uh, 143, did you say? Yeah, 143 to the flag. Yeah, big lip, carrying water if you're going at the pins and take, take it, you're going right a bit. Yeah, going right hand side of the green. If I get up front edge, I've got one cub down, happy days. But cool. We shall see. All on the strike. It is a good strike, and as described, yeah, a little short, but on this kind of line and chipping up the green, should be making four from there. All on me. <laughs> <laughs> you got a great line in from actually this angle over here. I know yeah, that we said- that's why I tried to shank it off. Yeah, too. and so I know it wasn't the shot you wanted, <laughs> but hitting it down this right hand side well, yeah. is um, the way forward. With the match score the way it is and where you are, I'm, I'm not looking at that pin either. Kind of the pin over the green, you see what I mean? Yep. Come on, close it out. Or oh, pull it and go straight out the pin. Could be a crowd pleaser. Yes. That is very close. That was a complete accident. Hold my hand up to that one. But yeah, sick shot. Yeah, I did just do that finger flippy thing. I don't know why, but it just felt right. So I apologise for that as well, but moving on, just before we finish, just to give you an idea of how beautiful this hole really is as we drive up another rocky water hazard, clubhouse in the background, just stunner after stunner here on the Sultan course. Right, I've hit an accidental worldie. Um, Danielle kind of needs to hold this. She's chipping, not a lot of loft I don't think, so giving it a run at the hole. Um, I'm guessing pitching wedge or nine iron or something to that effect. Bit of right to left and uphill as well, I think that's low and not enough. Game over I think. You can have yours. Thanks. Well played. Uh, uh, yeah, the standard was a better today, wasn't it, from both of us? Yep, definitely. Um, I am going to have a go at the birdie, just so I can say I got a real one. I'd like you to hold it as well, because it's the winning hole. Yeah. Well, say a real one. I nearly shanked it off the tee and then accidentally hit it at the pin, so... Yes, what a three to finish. <laughs> awesome work. Thanks, Danielle. Well played. Well played. Hard luck.
that was a bit of a lucky win, I think. <laughs> right, all done on the Sultan course, unfortunately. As you can probably see from the moisture on my face, it's definitely hotting up again. So, bit of a shame that we have to come off the course after nine holes. Um, that is just, again, I'm still not sure if that's my favorite course I played in Turkey or where the glory at Olga we're playing later is. I'll have a bit of a think on that and get back to you, but if you're coming to Turkey, let's say five to seven nights and playing multiple rounds of golf and you want to explore a little bit, you don't want to be stuck on the same resort playing the same course over and over again, um, Turkey's a perfect destination for that. All the courses are really close together, kind of like 10 minutes maximum transfer from one hotel to the next resort to play a different course. If you're doing that sort of holiday and you're jumping around a bit, PGA Sultan is 100% a course you have to come and check out. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Managed to sneak a little win over Danielle there. Um, I'm sure we'll have a rematch at some point throughout the rest of the trip. But if you've got any questions about PJ Sultan, whack them in the comment section below. Do all the usual magic, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, ping me an email at raymondo at yourgolftravel.com if you have any questions about this venue or Turkey in general. And I will see you guys at Gloria Old.